believe that chick Macarena on a date with your exact right ladies? Because seriously, we know you never drop the N-word till the third date, right? That's just that's what you gotta do. Gotta keep it clean. I was uh, I was joking. It's okay. It's okay. It's gonna be alright. It's gonna be fine. You know why it's gonna be fine, Iowa? We have three more comedians until our second for less set of the night. Can we do this, ladies and gentlemen? This next gentleman, sweet Joseph, I don't know where the hell he's been. I haven't seen him seriously in like four months. Uh, this is the first time he's been back in really glad that he's still alive. Give it up for Mr. Corey C, ladies and gentlemen. restraining orders, but I know if you're going to have a staring contest with a girl, make sure she knows about it. <laughs> Got arrested in court for doing cartwheels. Shouldn't have called a recess. I'm immature. I joke. I'm in line as old lady told me I look just like her 10 year old grandson. I was like, yeah, he must get mad pussy. <laughs> Uh, I noticed when some girls laugh, it kind of sounds like they're moaning for a second. It's pretty much why I do comedy. <laughs> I really hate when like hot girls call themselves ugly. You know, like, they just want reassurance that they're attractive. I never give it to them. You know, I told a girl she was hot. She's like, no, I'm not I'm ugly. I was like, yeah, yes, you're right. <laughs> but she doesn't talk anymore. But uh, you know. You know how they say, you know, plenty of fish in the sea. I can never keep a fish alive, though. They always die. You know, saying, like, you can lead a girl to water, but you can't make her drown. Y'all ever heard of that one? You know what a burn girl's house down, but you can't because she lives in an apartment complex? <laughs> now I'm just something illegal, like, I always be sure to throw on a jogging suit. You know, that like, when the cops see me running, I don't look suspicious. This phrase, no homo, has gotten really popular. I'm trying to start my own, though, it's no psycho. You know, like, hey, girl, let me to your Facebook, no psycho. Or like, hey, what's your home address, no psycho. Or let me just go over your house, stare at you while you sleep. Probably psycho. That one. I also realized that uh, girls are okay if you use the phrase, kill two birds with one stone. But if you actually do that, they get all weirded out. I'm uh, dead broke, but uh, being poor has its advantages, okay? Like, I'm on a date with a girl, we're in the movies, she whispers over, she's like, Did you turn off your phone? I'm like, I whisper it back, I'm like, It doesn't have service. <laughs> okay. I saw a uh, store inside out called Christian Bookstore. I was kind of confused. I'm like, they need a whole store to sell one book? They should just make it a church. Trying to get a job, I can't, I don't have a birth certificate. Yeah, they wouldn't hire me without it. I'm like, come on, do I really need a certificate to prove I was born? We all see where this is going. I have a friend who runs a nonprofit organization. He's just a really shitty drug dealer. So I broke down the other day trying to do heroin. I fucked up. I used a plastic spoon. No one wins with heroin. They should call it heroin. Wrote an autobiography once. Story about life. <laughs> what is a crack house exactly, guys? Is that where they make the crack or is that where they smoke the crack? Like, what do y'all think? Smoke it? So I did live in a crack house. Gotcha. All right, my name is Corey Castillo. I'm out of here. Chicago, were you, were you answering all the questions he was asking? No, it's very, very like, it's obviously where 